What's up y'all, we back in here. And originally, I thought today was gonna be kind of a wash because, um, hold on real quick, all right. <laughs> Manual exposure, you know, you gotta make sure that shit is right. But what's going on with y'all? Um, I originally thought today was gonna be kind of a wash because uh, it shit didn't go well this morning. Um, but that being said, the universe always, always, always has something better to plan for you. And just so happened there's an origin meet tonight. So we're gonna go uh, get with that. We're gonna go looking with the boy Ferg and Jeff and a couple of other dudes that are gonna roll with us, who I don't know. Uh, probably when I get there, of course. But make sure you guys like this content. You know what I'm saying? I'm out here doing my thing for y'all. Uh, I would say building the car, but you know, books take a while, especially, you know, when everything comes out of your own pocket. But enough of that. Um, we got some other stuff planned for the GTR, which I'll probably do tomorrow morning. Um, tomorrow morning, I'm probably gonna do the full E85 review. I was doing that today, but it just didn't work out. Today was kind of weird. But uh, we're gonna head to that meet right now. And, uh, well not right now, but we're gonna go to Oceanside, meet up with the homies, and I'll see y'all in a minute. Got the young driving shoes on right now. If y'all say this is overdoing it, this car has no cruise control and you gotta have foot on the gas the entire time, so it's necessary. This won't be a full E85 cold start. Hold on, I forgot my shit. This happens every time like I switch cars. Bro, I'll be forgetting everything, bro. I'll be forgetting everything, man. Anyway. Right, let's get back in here. Like I was saying, it's not gonna be a uh, a full 85 cold start. Oh shit. Because uh you know the car's been warmed up already, I drove it earlier. And uh so we're gonna get up out of here real quick. Okay, I guess it's kind of a cold start. Supposed to be going to the origin meet tonight, and you guys see this shit, bro? Like my tire fucking just popped on the freeway. Oh my god, bro! Like I don't even have a spare, dude. Oh, dude, that's a big asshole in my tire, dude. I don't know if I can see that, man. Like, huh? And do y'all see that hole in my tire? Y'all see that shit, bro? And y'all can still see the blue on the tire. This is a brand new tire, man. Do you see this? My goodness. My goodness. It looks like someone shot my fucking tire, bro. <laughs> yeah, man. I don't even know what to say right now. I'm kind of speechless, but I mean, it's all good. I'm not hurt, nobody got hurt. The car didn't lose control. So, like normally, this would have like fucked my day up. I mean, it did kind of fuck my day up, but you know, when you have situations like this, you know what I'm saying? When you get into like moments like this where shit's not going your way, uh, it's important to stay calm and just like get your bearings right, stay cool, you know what I'm saying? All that stuff because otherwise, It'll just continue to go downhill and uh, the course of action from here is wait for this motherfucker to show up, right? Uh, and 
hopefully they can patch it get it on if they even if they can patch it i'm still gonna get another tire because i don't run on patches i know you can but that's a really big fucking hole and i want to take this car to the track which means there's going to be one tire that's going to have slightly uneven wear which it's not the biggest deal in the world but i don't know it almost makes me want to buy four new tires but that's a little bit that's a little bit of an overkill so yeah anyway i'm done ranting i'm just going to continue to smile through the bullshit man smile through it let me fix the tire right now shit mad crazy of all the nights bro of all the ways things can go down what is that uh it's just a camera oh yeah but the one you have on top oh it's a microphone oh okay. yeah Here's a professional. I'm just glad I didn't go through the fucking uh, whatever I hit my. Scratch your wheel, man. Huh? I scratch your wheel right here. I'll put some nail polish on it. It'll be all right. Just in two spots, right? Yeah, that's not bad. I'm just lucky it hit the wheel, whatever it was. All right, well, tonight was a wash. Uh, we thought that, you know, I could put the patch on, I'd be good. But the inside of the tire is like kind of damaged. So, I mean, I was gonna get a new one anyway. Uh, I'm just grateful that I'm in a position to where I can afford you know to get this stuff fixed when it happens you know a lot of times these things happen to people and they are not in a position to uh to be able to afford things like this so scrape all of my bumper jesus christ man hey man i'm just gonna go home We just made it back. Car's here. Do not be on my head about these boxes, okay? I have a lot of furniture delivered, and I need to cut the boxes, put them in the GLA, take them all the way down to the recycling bin, which is not walking distance, all right? So don't be on my head about that. I was gonna 
just full send, take the car to me anyway, right? Because it's not that far away. There was still plenty of time for me to make it there. But upon a little discovery, we found that the inner tire, the inner tie wall on the inside, on the inside inside is a little bit kind of fucked up. So I decided that it was not a good idea to drive that car or drive this car up there to LA because the, uh, the guy that helped me out with my tire, big shout out to you, he, uh, he hooked me up pretty much. And I um, hate when I say um. It's pretty much what happened is he told me that if, you got, if the tire gets too hot, it could, you could have a blowout. Which is strange because when I had my, my Kinder Kaisers on here in the front, the steel was literally showing. And I remember I showed you guys that the steel on those tires was literally showing. If I have a picture, I'm gonna drop it in here so you guys can see how bad those tires were, right? I didn't have any issues, man. And for some reason, a brand new R888, and you guys know how expensive these tires are, a brand new R888 blows out on me. Gets a hole, kind of fucks up the whole vibe the whole day, but it's all good, man. I'm gonna smile through it. I'm gonna get through it. Which reminds me, I had a dream the other day. In that dream, I was going to a meet and I stopped somewhere and then my car wouldn't turn back on. And I was like, oh fuck, I'm not gonna be able to go to this event. So you gotta pay attention to your dreams. Oftentimes there are warnings for shit. Uh, she said, oh again, I don't like that. But anywho, I'm gonna wrap this video up here. I've been rambling long enough. You guys probably haven't made it to this point in the video anyway, but if you have, I appreciate you and I will catch you in the next one. I was supposed to be doing the E85 review, which will have to wait now because I'm not going to do it on this tire because I'm taking you guys out for pools with me when I do that review. So you guys are gonna have to wait for that one. But like I said, I've been talking for nearly three minutes. I've been holding your night up. Have a good one. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.